How's it going guys? Archer Black C, aka The Rage and Cajun here, and I'm clearly not in my studio. Uh, I'm actually on my off hour at work uh, because I really wanted to get this video out to you guys. I've been kind of holding out and uh, I've been getting really busy and every time I go home I got something to do. So uh, I squeezed out an hour to uh, knock this video out. So hope you guys really uh, really appreciate it. Uh, we're finishing up the Ragnalordmon Imperial Dramon video. Um, this one's uh, a little closer, actually. It gets really close there at the end, uh, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, after this, uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys would leave me a comment on what decks you would like to see highlighted. Uh, as of now, we're just kind of doing some battle videos and stuff. I'm not really uh, too, too interested in doing deck lists. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, um, I'm planning on posting our deck lists there. Uh, for people that ask for them. So make sure you go follow me on Twitter. I retweet and tweet a bunch of stuff about Digimon and Bakugan and all my stuff I talk about here on the channel. Um, so I think it'd be worth your while. Uh, and also thanks to the people on the face group. There was like this weird voting thing uh, talking about content creators. Uh, and I was like number four on the list and it was kind of cool. So I felt kind of appreciated. So I appreciate you guys uh, liking, commenting, subscribing, and all that stuff uh, for all this Digimon content. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it, and the game's really fun, uh, and we're having a really good time doing it. So thank you guys, and y'all enjoy this game. See y'all later. All right, guys, we are back here with game two of this matchup. Uh, last game didn't really go how I wanted it to. It was okay. It was fine. Go watch the video, because uh, this is the follow-up to it, where we're going to play these decks against each other one more time, um, and I just want them to do a little better. So we're going to get going. Uh, right side of the table lost last game, so he's going to go first here. Have a go at it, boys. Alright. Demi Devimon comes on. Now. Let's go. That's not Demi Devimon. Demi Vimon, I did the last video. <laughs> or two videos ago. Alright, we're gonna evolve into Vimon. Vimon, the not jamming Vimon. Draw. Standard Vimon from set two. Traditionally played with all force we draw. We are going to double Vulcan's hammer. Okay. I'm glad to see those to gone early. Now they're gone for the rest of the game, but okay. Well, you know things. Evolve into Vidramon. Okay. Draw, and then we are going to plop a Vimon down. Cool, and that is the jamming Vimon. You saw it in the last episode, but here it is again. We come over to the red and black side and get a GG Mon, oh, yeah. eating that bread roll just as he wants it. The roll, bread boy. We're gonna play a Ludomon. Ludomon, this is the black side of the decks. Uh, search for the legend arms. So he gets a Ragnar Lord Mon, which is definitely going to get. And then he gets his pick of any of those four cards, actually. Um, all of the fancy looking ones that aren't Gilmon in this deck, uh, and the Grey Mon that we play, um, are Legend Arms. So basically, you're searching your deck for any card off the top five and a Ragnar Lord Mon. So really cool, really cool for some consistency and stuff, and getting you into the right spot, probably for your next turn, usually, because you're dropping to three to play that thing. You want to take the Zubamon? That might be. Mm. I've never had this few cards in my hand. I'm going to take the Zubamon. Oh, you dropped two Vulcan <laughs> Samers. <laughs> Alright, so he picks the Zubamon and the Ragnar Lordmon. Is his hand ready? So, Vault to the Zubamon. Um. Which is the red version of the. Uh, Ludomon, you saw there, does the same thing. And then we will evolve to this. Tia Ludomon. That two good. Pass his turn. Okay. Vidramon comes out. Do he does not have jamming currently because there's no tamer. Um, but he is a level four. Eagerly waiting to be evolved, I'm assuming. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. Well, okay. security? All right, so Vmon going in with jamming. Jamming, jamming. Which gets through the Doramon, which is very cool. Do we tempt? I love that Vmon. It's probably my favorite level three at the moment. Do we tempt fate? You do what you gotta do, man. All right, well, we're gonna Evo on top of it. <coughs> for starters. Draw. Right, now he has two Vmon well, without jamming. Actually, that kind of helps. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Security. 
go in without jamming, and the Ragnar Mon player gets a tie out for free. So now with he starts his turn and he's less than three, he will get three memory. And he does not do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paladramon comes down uh, and is sitting there and is rested. So open field there. Reading the dem demi Vimon. Uh, only on your turn and stuff. Okay. I am now worried for this Paladromon's help. Well, Evo. Draw. You put it out there rested, so. <laughs> Trade. Trade. Alright, so you knew the card games trading means, hey, my thing's just as strong as yours, we're gonna hit each other in the head and both die. So, the uh, Rise Ludamon. Evolve. Took out the Paladamon. The Megamon comes out. Draws for evolving. Draw. Raise. Evolve. Draw Gobamon goes on top of Upamon, but you don't get the draw from putting it there, so. You still get the draw from Evoe. Yeah. Did you draw from Evoe? Yes. yes. Cool. Uh, we will evolve. Was it a Grizzly Mon? The blue blocker? Draw. Remember, folks, the only way to get the red, blue, and yellow blockers currently is to get the starter decks of each color. You get a play set of four in each one, so it's definitely recommended to get one of each starter deck. And we'll evolve again. Dino Beamon made an appearance in the last video. He has piercing and jamming, which is pretty cool. Cards in hand? Four. Cool. Evolve to Geomon. Evolve to Duramon. Duramon is a red level five in this deck. Terror Force it. And we get a Hardcast Terror Force. It's eight memory, uh, but you kill anything you want. Draw. Raise. Well, actually, it says opponent's Digimon. But... Okay, we now have a situation. <laughs> so, a bunch of memory to be played here. We got eight hanging, so. In theory, if he had everything to do it, I think he could get to an Imperial Jermon from here and do some things, but will he? Who knows? Yeah. Be Only three. him. Look at him. It'd be 3-3. Three, three. Thinking over there. Think it. Be thinking. Yeah, it'd be 3-3. Three, three. And then he could do some more stuff. Yeah, this makes sense. Three. Alright, so use three five. of that memory to go to Paladramon. Remember, Paladramon can come up from a blue or green for security. He has jamming, he's going to hit security, didn't need the jamming. He and here we go, Imperial Jermon. Uh, we talked about him in detail in the last video. Uh, but he costs less to be played by Paladramon, over Paladramon, sorry. Uh, so he gets played for three there, and he restands because he himself has jamming. Security? His security, uh, he would have yeah, died there, but he yeah, has jamming. I know, I'm thinking. You have a restand effect. I'm going to restand. That's not an option. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> security again. And he goes for the three. Oh, Terror Force. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Terror Force is nasty, guys. You, it, at least get yourself the red starter back. Mm -hmm. But Imperial Jermon goes down from a third Terror Force in this series. Check out the last video, no spoilers, but uh, it happened a couple times. <laughs> Free eight memory is pretty good. Yeah. Ice Wolf Claw. Well. Ice Wolf Claw and or Claw in his breath, whichever one you're uh, looking at there, uh, does the same thing except it sends it to your hand. Um, so it's still whatever you kill is technically still accessible to the other player. Draw. Evolve to a Zubagermon here, and then again up to a Duramon. Sitting at a level five. 
trying to work his way up to a six and then eventually a seven. Oh. Gets to the Durandamon. That was wrong, but that's okay. Draw. So Durandamon passes the turn. Braves. Opponent gets three memory. Evo. Uh. I lost by doing this Evo, probably. Yeah. He can't attack this turn. Yeah, no, no but... It doesn't matter this turn, but it matters. He can't attack. He can't win next turn, because I win next turn. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to drop down a Grizzly Mon. Sure. Draw. What's up, right. Blocker? GG Mon. Well, we're going to Gil Mon. Drawing for turn. Uh, we will do the thing. We're gonna evolve to Ragnalord Mon. Do this slowly. All right, so we got Ragnalord Mon. <laughs> Didn't have this in the last video, so we're gonna talk about it here. It's very interesting. He's a red level seven. Uh, that can be evolved from a red or a black level six. And then, if you have the other one, so there's the red level six and then the black level six. If you have the other one in your hand, you can stick it under there with it when you play it, and then you basically play him for free. Because he says he gets three memory if you do that. So you get a massive level seven who has security attack plus one on top of all of these things. Security attack plus one. Security attack plus one. Security attack plus one. This gives a security attack plus one. So this is a fully loaded right So this swings one. for the full five stack. Okay. Right. It also with has piercing, piercing and Piercing, blocker, and reboot. Yeah, it has everything. This is the most loaded up Digimon I think there is in the game currently, uh, just on all the different things it can do. So, here he is. Stack. Nope. 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 Five. So. As you can see, Ragnalordmon is very much a kind of a one-shot deck. It has a blocker, right? Yes. Yeah, so... But that's not going to stop. Yeah, that's not going to stop that one. So... Um... um uh, does he have the Terror Force? <laughs> well... It does now. <laughs> Oh, 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 you guys what are oh, 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 no, no. oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, so Ragnalordmon <laughs> does this thing there, which is cool. I wanted to show it off, but judging by his uh, hand here. We are going to. I mean, hey, oh, no, you can't just drop down level six. You don't have enough energy. You can evolve and maybe grab a Terra Force. Uh, any route I do that will end my turn. Oof. You don't have anything that evolves for three. I don't have a red level four. Um, no. I have the black side. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's why. Because, yeah, now I'm sitting at three dead memory. Mm -hmm. Let's play a Ludomon. Woo! Again, this is the searcher here. Let's see what he's got in here. Oh, no, those were Terra Force, so at least we know that that wasn't an option anyway. <laughs> Take this guy. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, peek at the top of the deck to see if uh, fate's gonna change for him. But, uh, don't know about that. <laughs> I'm being bribed on this YouTube channel to throw the game. <laughs> uh. I will evolve to this Ty Ludomon. Okay, I will draw. I will raise. I will Vulcan's Hammer for safety. Okay. Game? Blocker? I hate this. Game. Yes. Woo! <laughs> so. 
Cool. You got to see uh, Rag the Lord Mon go to work there. Uh, clearly took out five security in one shot. So obviously, yeah. if he had his board built up a little better, uh, he could have won the game on that turn. But um, unfortunately, it didn't happen. Imperial Ojimon wins this game. So now we're one and one, uh, depending on how this video does and the last one does. We'll do a game three, see if you guys want to do that. Uh, if not, I'm happy with how these showed both decks. Uh, and we can move on to some new stuff. We still got to show off some Omnimon, or uh, all kinds of stuff. We got new cards coming out. So you guys tell me what you want to see in the comments. Um, if you have any more questions, I've been trying to answer comments religiously uh, on my own. So, um, and then Matusko over here is actually helping answer comments a lot. So if you guys have questions, put them down there. And if you like these videos, Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We're doing a lot of Digimon stuff here and we're having a good time doing it. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.